This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Jordan Hildebrand with the Kansas Wheat Commission is joining us. And Jordan, the National Festival of Breads is coming up on June 8th in Manhattan, Kansas. It's a fantastic day full of fun for anybody who likes to eat. So what are some of the highlights for this year's National Festival of Breads? We have a a live baking competition, very much like you would see on Food Network or television stations like that. So you get to watch the finalists bake their bread, and you get to see the judges judge them at the end of the day. It's an exciting day, but we also have several baking demonstrations with a lot of exciting people, including Charlene Patton with the Kansas Soybean Commission. So she will be presenting at about 11 o'clock talking about how to bake with young families and how to get some intergenerational mixing in the kitchen, if you will. So can people attend the National Festival of Breads on June 8th? Absolutely. It's a free event for the public. We just ask that you bring a canned item for the uh, Harvester's Food Network. So it's a great day. We've got activities for the whole family. We've even got our own kids activity area where kiddos can mix up pizzas in a bag, as well as face painting and, and a bunch of fun stuff that the entire family will have a really great time with. We have this partnership with the Kansas Soybean Commission, which we really value. They have been sponsors of the National Festival of Bread since 2013. And so it's a really great way for both of the commissions to partner together on a national scale. And so bakers from all around the country learn about the versatility of soybean products, especially in their baking. And so this year, the Kansas Soybean Commission Special Award were the Lucky Five Spice Cloverleaf Rolls created by Shauna Havey in the Blogger Division and the Sicilian Star Bread developed by Brenda Watts uh, in the Home Baker Division. And what's really exciting is both of those award winners are actually finalists in the contest as well. So Brenda will be taking her uh, Sicilian Star Bread up to the finalist level and will be baking that off in Manhattan. But Shauna Havey, while her cloverleaf rolls are delicious, she will actually be baking another recipe in Manhattan. So there's still a pretty good chance that a soybean creation will end up being the uh, National Festival of Bread's champion, but we will announce that on June 8th, and we'd love to see everybody there. And they can go to the website to get more information? Absolutely. Nationalfestivalofbreads.com. We've got a whole schedule packed full of uh, exciting items that people can take a look at. Jordan, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is Jordan Hildebrand with the Kansas Wheat Commission, who joins us on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at kansassoybeans.org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. Hope you enjoyed this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Stay with us after the break for more Farm Factor as Kyle Bauer visits with Warren McDougall. What if U.S. soybean oil were an industry sensation? If end users started asking for it by name? That future is here, the time is now. To meet customer demands, the Soybean Checkoff is investing in varieties that produce oil with increased functionality. A message from the Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers.